Chatting. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what? Oh, God, it's been so long since I've streamed. Uh, it, I feel like a fish. Wait. Is my sound coming through? I don't even know. I've got to quickly check. Oh, it is. Well, we're all working. Woohoo! Uh, hello, Skid and Dr. Bellix. Handycam? Is that Reverend Skid? Uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually did shave it. Oh, not shave it, but trim it last week. How you doing, Skid? Long time no see. Oh. I ended up going to Bunnings and grabbing these dudes. And this is a temporary wheel. Uh, this this rim. Nothing fancy. Rig. So it's basically like a a sass a sass wheel with um, wooden. I'm pretty sure this is wood or wood finish. But without the gloves, it gets very difficult to handle. No pun intended. Uh, so yeah, I've been spending the last couple of days just testing and getting some the settings, SimiCube settings down. I still don't know what I'm doing. Uh, face. Have you been scared? Mm, trying to think, what am I doing? Focus CM. Yeah, I'm just gonna be doing some set of courses today. 
because I mighty fine. That's so good, man. Uh, so on Friday I was supposed to receive my other the other wheel with the paddle shifters and all the buttons and everything attached. And get this right, I was expecting the delivery on Friday, sometime around midday, and uh, my wife was working from home, so she's in the house, like as in upstairs, and inside the house all day, she could see if anyone was approaching the door, front door and everything, and eventually, eventually come four o'clock, she leaves to go pick up the kids, and I was still mucking around with, um, with things down here, and then... I kind of thought, you know what, I might take a break, go upstairs and just chill out for a bit. And as I go upstairs, the courier just jumps into his van and starts driving off. I'm like, no! <laughs> I actually ran out onto the street, in, stood in the middle of the street and started waving at him. But no, he didn't see me. I guess he didn't see me. So, yeah. Uh... So that, that wheel actually ha to pop. Yeah. Oh no, Monday. So it doesn't matter. I don't, I've completely disconnected the old G25 with the shifter and everything. So at the moment, I don't have a shifter. I've only got this wheel and uh, the other wheel has the mag magnetic shifters and stuff attached. So yeah, Monday, Monday it is. Anyway, there's nothing... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like Murphy's Law, man. Automatic, I know, yep. Yeah. That's what I've been doing for the last... Uh, last last 24, last two days. Just driving around in auto, in an automatic. And it's it's great. I mean, this is this thing is a whole other... It's, you can't compare it to a G25. It's like, it's just, you can't. I've, I realized I've been missing out on so much, um, so much feedback basically from, from driving. I'm, I'm able to, oh, the suspension of the rig is fantastic. I've actually improved the, the design. So it's completely portable. Uh, when I say portable, I've, I've moved rig. So this this table here, that that's my standing standing desk. Give us a look. All right, all right. Uh, uh yeah, okay. Show you how it's done. So, so basically, oh, shit. so that down there is one, actually, you know what, I might just use the light. Okay, so there, that's that's one of the pillars. So I created another frame outside of that that uh, holds the main cockpit. So there's like an external frame, and then that has these pillars that come up. There's another. There's another. See right there. So, so there are these two, um, and the same thing in the front. So basically, yeah, it's it's a pretty, it's a very basic, it's a simple setup. I tried to go for something as simple as possible. Basic, but it's very, uh, very effective. Like the. So the vibrations are very strong like it's it's not damp damped dampered in any way or at least compared to the way it used to be 
Uh, I've just got lots of cables everywhere. Um, what are we gonna do? Yeah, let's, let's let's actually see what where I can what I can do in terms of CNCM. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm thinking of replacing the little ones, the four little ones, with two big ones because uh, it, it just doesn't feel. It doesn't. Fe it's just miss. You know, it's it's a different beast altogether. NSX. Might let's drive the one of these. That one. No. Have you been skid? Uh, how's your races going? Oh, I gotta do something else. I, I really like this this uh, Simicube companion, like the driver software. It's really well done. Hmm. I think that's the one. I was I was nodding off before. I was sitting watching uh, some some YouTube videos out on the in the lounge room, and I was watching some races like real life racing and started feeling like I was nodding felt like I was nodding off two and a half hour Le Mans next week to round off your two championships of the year oh yeah okay so it's that time of year half year that's fair enough who's leading Final race is the decider. Ho ho! Gotta love that. Bit of suspense, drama. Uh, okay. Rig. I gotta fix this thing up. You're leading. Nice. I guess you put in a lot of practice and you know your, you know, you put in the hard yards. Wow. Yeah, the, this wheel is bloody, I'm scared. I, I'm actually, I, I get scared of it. Like, I still need to get used to it. It, it, I could. If I'm not careful, I can see it dislocating a finger or, you know, it's just, it's bloody crazy how strong it is. But, and, and because of that, I don't, I don't find myself holding onto the wheel very, as strong, as hard, as tightly as I did the G25 because it's just, just not used to it yet. Uh, something, something isn't right. Oh, you know what? It's, it is on, isn't it? It's enabled. Oh, re-enabled talk. Oh, there you go. It was switched off. Uh, I 
Let's turn on the, the vibrations. The vibrations is awesome. Vibrations plus this direct drive sensations just in like when the front wheels start to uh, lock up or or lose traction it just feels like it feels so real so if you're up for some some cruising come and join me I'm on the most uh, busiest Shatuko server Oh boy, I can't hear the car. Oh, it's insane. It is basically it's like a it's it's definitely makes the other thing look like a toy yeah it makes the other thing look like a toy yo butcher let me just pull over hey how you doing face how you doing, Buja? Uh, I I did message you to send you something, but uh, the the time that you were online, I couldn't do it. Doing okay? Yeah, very nice. What's new? I know you. Ah, uh, not yet, not yet. I have to send it to you. I have to send it to you while you're online, so it's like a peer-to-peer -peer transfer. All right, let's let's uh, get back on the road. Rig, come and join me if you want. Yeah, I'm so I was I was so frustrated that I missed the courier by by this much. Like, and to think right now I could be using that other the other rim. But it's sitting on some shelf or somewhere, being not used. But you know what? I've waited freaking months for it. What's another couple of days? Oh, the wheel is bloody amazing. It is absolutely. It's a. It's like a. It's real. It feels like a real car. The best way to explain it is like, it fe The wheel feels like it's mechanically connected to the road. Like it's. It's like there is a physical. I can feel the not only it feels like there's the rod from the uh, from the wheel itself that connects to the gearing that connects to the uh, the steering the steering column the, the the whatever the other rack part of it is and then to the to the wheel it feels that like so real like tie you can eat, you can feel like it the tires are connected to this wheel it's amazing and also to be able to and and drifting i was i was mucking around and doing some drifting man it's so much more easier now and i realized uh that old g25 it's it was just it lacked so much sensation i felt like i know on a friday like jesus man like Talk about Murphy's Law. Yeah. But this is like, this thing now, it feels like a, like a proper simulator. The only thing that's missing, I suppose, is um, that proper motion. But apart from that, man, it just feels like, it feels real. Really cool. Oh, shit. How's Hyundai Buja? It's 
I need to check another thing. There's a mouse. Uh, false feedback controller. Hey, how you doing, Umdai? Say, give him a, a hello for me. Basically, uh, with the G25, I felt like I was more powerful than the than the wheel. But this is like the wheel wants to. When I say the wheel, the, the tires, you know, the actual physical wheel. In, well, if it was a physical wheel, if the if the wheel uh, wants to turn that way, it turns the, the steering wheel turns to face that way. And it makes it so much more easier because of the way the momentum of the car carries um, uh, the direction of the car. It makes it easier to uh, uh, to save from uh, from a spin. Yo, done any of that comparison yet. <laughs> yeah. I sure did. How you doing? Actually, uh, yesterday I went to visit Daniel and uh, this place that he, you know, Daniel Yeaman, who He's probably in the in the chat right now. He's now he's now a sponsored esports racer. He's got, he's got a team. He's part of a team now. He's got sponsorship. That's the way, man. Come and join us if you if you have time. We're in the the, the most popular Shatu Shutuko server. Yeah, this just feels like a real car, dude. It's amazing. It's like I'm sitting in this car, like it's freaky. Oh shit! Ow, ow. Middle... I, 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 it was like the middle of February. was that's cool I'll send you an invite uh, I've actually cranked it so face face so the way you're supposed to set up the FFB is it's supposed to be a hundred percent and then Yeah, it's supposed to be 100%. It has something to do with the clipping, the clipping point. So that's the main difference between the the different strengths uh, direct drive wheels. The more, it's like I guess the best way analogy is um, the more the more powerful newton uh, meters, the the less chance there is of clipping, uh, and obviously. I haven't been able to test what would it take to clip a freaking 25 newton meter. <laughs> so, hang on, let me just get the server details. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, uh, quite. Yeah. <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> Rip your. Yeah. It almost. Uh, so I still haven't set up the set, like dialed in the settings for R Factor, R Factor Two, but. Man, this thing was moving very brutally. You just have to take your hands off it and it just does its thing. It's crazy. <sighs> uh, four grand. For the... Including the wheel, including the actual wheel. Oh yeah, it's it's somewhere around there. To uh, actually, that's that's a bunch of things with the mount. Yeah, the, I needed I needed to get the mount and a bunch of other things. Yeah, uh, the next now the next thing is bloody um, cockpit. So I want to upgrade the uh, the cockpit to a proper eighty twenty thing. Oh hell yeah, man! Will be oh. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the seat was actually... The s okay, the seat... Uh, yeah, it's probably another grand for the, the seat and the transducers. Yeah, a and also the... Um, what else is there? Amplifiers. Hey Bumblebee, yeah, pr practically. Uh, what's the maximum rotation? This thing doesn't have a maximum rotation. It just spins and spins and spins, right? It's just a motor. But in the sim, I've actually set it to 1,180 in a set of Corsa. Uh, but then that it's, it depends on which car. So the car, you know, if it's a car that needs 900, it automatically sets the bump, the bump stops. Make a single. Soft lock. Uh, I can tell you one thing. It's this is. It's it's like it's. You get what you pay for, pretty much. To put it that, you just get what you pay for. The experience of, you know, you can either uh, invest in a in a proper uh, track car. Or you can do this. Pretty much, uh, the only thing that's lacking right now is a motion uh, platform. So, I suppose that could be the single most expensive upgrade. Like some motion platforms can can be around about the three thousand dollar plus. You know, the the six degrees, six. There you go, ten grand. Yeah. So, if you were to include that. Like a, around a 10k, because if you're going to get a motion platform, then all of a sudden you're going to have to change a lot of things. Uh, yeah, yeah, easily 10 grand, and that's a lot cheaper than, um, like if you happen to play golf, for example, you know, golf clubs can cost easily in the, in the thousands, plus your membership and or you know other sports like other hobby hobby slash uh, sports. Um, definitely cheaper than a track day car I mean the, there's no ongoing maintenance for this thing really is it compared to a track day you might have to change do some uh, servicing you could gotta add fuel tires the, the more you race the more you uh, have to change parts and things so oh yeah Oh, deep pockets, that's it. 
Uh, from from a G twenty five to this, it's it just feels real. It just feels like it's actual an actual car. Poor PC. Mm. It, it will, but not not anytime soon because there's nothing. I'm not really impressed with the Intel's lineup of CPUs. Uh, and this for for what I'm for the sims that I you know race in i racing the cpu is fantastic and the gpu is just like i'm max i've maxed everything out and it seems to be running fine so i can't see a reason to upgrade the cpu the only reason i'd get another computer is if i get a dedicated uh computer for streaming so a dedicated pc for streaming and another one for gaming so then but at the moment this computer does both mm. Maybe if uh, another for a stream, yeah. And if uh, maybe if the if a title like an, like I don't know the, the next version of a sort of Corsa or something came out that needed that took advantage of um, what's it called RTX, and also if I happen to upgrade this thing for a higher res resolution VR, then it makes sense to upgrade the bloody GPU. But at the moment. I'm definitely well within my limits. Um, yeah, let's let's get some driving done. There you go. Yeah, right. Yeah, but amazingly, this computer is—it's done its job. It's doing its job really well. Uh, yeah, and I don't I don't put this computer on the floor. It's actually mounted. It's always it's always been resting high up uh, off the floor, which has been a bit of a hassle in terms of cabling, because it involves a lot of extension cables and stuff like that. But it's worth it because very little dust. Ten year old i7 to push mine built after you built your i9. Yeah. Yeah, so when I when I upgrade this computer, I mean when I build another computer, I'm most likely going to build uh, a rig for my kids to to race on. You can use it whenever elsewhere when not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right actually about that. So with the old parts, the G25, I'm basically going to. Uh, put that in another rig for my kids to play with because they like actually jumping on uh, so yeah rig all right enough uh, chatter let's do some driving oh look at this <laughs> oh wow this is awesome How many cars are in this? <laughs> oh, there's always one, at least. That other guy, the Miss Skylines engines and out of them as well.
running at 1.5 pixel density. Yeah, I reckon so. Uh, so I'll be I'll be making a couple of uh, YouTube videos on So yeah, I, I um, I'm so I've started writing some scripts for the for a couple of new videos. One is for how to set up my experience with setting up the uh, the eight the eight transducer shakers. And because I've been I, for the last month, last two months, I've been doing heaps of experimentation and. And then the other one is about this this wheel and my impressions of it coming but coming from a from someone who owned a G25 for like 10 years plus Actually I bought the G25 back in 2008 if you can believe that I've been used it for for the whole time I think I had about 4 years where I didn't race do any sim sim driving Mainly because I didn't have a computer. My my actual my GPU died, and uh, that was like. And then I had a laptop as my main work uh, work machine. Yeah, it's this is this is amazing. So one of the transducers is actually attached, connected to the the, the steering platform. So all, all the relevant, relevant vibrations come straight into the steering, the steering uh, platform, into the into the wheel. So I feel it in my hands. Oh Jesus! Where did he come from? Have not. Yeah, that car is freaking out. That's for sure. I have. I didn't buy the Ferrari. Oh Jesus! What? Oh, that's trippy. Glad he's out of it. How have you been, Bumblebee? You've been doing any uh, any races like you? I don't know why, but I don't get any of your notifications, so I need to check my my subscription, my YouTube subscribe not uh, notifications. <laughs> see that? Did you see how the car completely started losing? And I just let go of the wheel, and the thing did itself, and it corrected it. Like, I would have... I, I, it's just different, man. Ah, you've been doing a couple of bit and a couple of streams. Nice. Yeah, it's good to... Good to be back on streaming again. Stream Deck, nice. Bumblebee VR. So, do you find that uh, with the Stream Deck, have you got the? Are you re relying on muscle memory to to press the buttons, or do you actually look at the buttons? Because I've heard it's actually good for not just streaming, but just you can program anything you want to it.
Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm driving my daily driver here. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I've heard that it's very good for for uh, racing. Like you can basically use it as a button box, and you can create these uh, sub menus, right? So at, at the highest level, you press a button, and then depending on which button you press, it changes the context of all the buttons below that. Yourself, the stream overlays. Mm. Also, oh, there's this protection that is in the Simi Cube. It's something called hands off detection. So Basically, um, if the wheel rotates at a at a very high rate of torque, at a very high rate of rotation, it kind of automatically hits the brakes, so it doesn't um, continue to spin at an insane uh, speed. Which is it, it has has actually saved saved me a couple of times. Like if I just uh, spin the wheel, it will actually break apply the brakes and slow it down. Yo, Dr. Bellix. Yeah, because the first time I set it up, I, I was like spinning the wheel and the wheel is fantastic, man. It's like a, it's like pro, pro equipment. It, it doesn't cut out, it, it applies the brakes. Kind of like applies the brakes gently and then slows it down it slows the speed the, the spin uh, I haven't tested AM2 yet I tried but I couldn't get it to work this is a SAS wheel exactly yeah I don't have to press the red button yeah Project Cast 3 I've seen of so many all the usual uh, YouTubers making their reaction videos and stuff. It looks like a, it looks like a fantastic uh, title. It looks beautiful. Hard to, hard to make any, you know, criti criti criticism until I've actually seen people get their hands on it. Our usual, uh, usual reviewers. How have you been, Bellix? Man, we've got to do that drifting session again with uh, with this wheel, especially. <laughs> yeah, I think this is also... Like if if I'm looking for realism, the, I feel like uh, I'm gonna have to do some. It's gonna be tiring taking part in races with this wheel, like long endurance races. Whoa, Jesus! Look at these guys go. There's a rotary coming up. Yeah, the trick now is to not hold the steering wheel too tight. I, I hope so. It just, it just feels so bloody realistic. The only time I've, I can remember losing control of the car 
is when I spun my, um, when I crashed my Celica many years ago, and I remember the sensation where the front wheels kind of opposite locked eventually. That, that car didn't have, did that have power steering? I don't think it did. So it's hard for me to compare that ex this this experience, like when when I'm losing control and the the wheel does its own thing, because I don't I can't I don't have an everyday experience of uh, what it's like in a real car. Yo, Kyoko. <laughs> Oh, or I should <laughs> hit the gym again. Where are these guys? I actually think I've got the, the gain set up to 30% in the set of Corsa. And you, can you see how the, car, the set of Corsa is vibrating right now? I think that's why the steering wheel is vibrating right now. See, so notice how it's, it's shaking and you know how a set, a set of Corsa does this thing the further away you get to a, a point, it's something to do with the physics in a set of Corsa on large maps. The car starts to shake like this. It kind of feels like the car's not, the tires aren't balanced. Yeah, the earthquake. turn this around I'm yeah yeah it is <laughs> A face no shifter at the moment <laughs> so this wheel is a temporary thing I've got a the actual wheel that has the that has the paddle shifters that's that's in the um i missed my delivery on friday so uh i gotta go pick it up on monday that has the paddle shifters this is just something i bought because i just couldn't wait till monday um it's just a it's just a sass wheel i can i can but Yeah, it's it's not USB. Diameter. Oh, this is huge. This is like a this is supposed to be a drifting wheel. Do I have my ah my uh, measuring tapes all the way back there? Yeah. Uh, who sells it? I think Leo Bodnar sells it. I think so. Or it's... It could be. I don't think it's wood. Yeah, this is a drifting wheel. Um, 
It feels good. It's very, it's very slippery, so hence the gloves. Very shiny and glossy. I'm gonna pick another car. Ah, oh, use the Leo Budner. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna basically be doing the the diameter will affect the amount of strength needed as well. <laughs> Man, I, I wanna I wanna do I wanna give give it a go. Like we did that drift. St Spend a little more Thrustmaster. Okay, yeah. It's I've been thinking of that like between the Fanatec and Thrustmaster. I'm also leaning towards a Thrustmaster as well. Where is the bloody content manager gone? So content manager has completely disappeared. Focus CM. Oh. Scene CM. The Logitech is a nightmare. Ah, oh, had to open and fix it many times. Okay. Smaller wheel makes it. Autocross. Use a really small wheel for drifting. Ah, oh, look, man, this this thing is really just a. I, I got this because. The Monaco track. Ah, so what happened is, I. <laughs> no, okay, okay. What happened was, I I got the Simi Cube delivered last, um, over a week ago. The Simi Cube arrived in the like over a week ago, and the only thing that was missing was the the the. The other wheel that I ordered. So, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to buy another steering wheel. I'm just going to wait for the other wheel to come in. And so the other wheel was supposed to come in on, I hoped, on Tuesday this week. Um, but for some reason, it didn't happen. It didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't actually dispatched till Wednesday. So. So it was Wednesday, I'm thinking, you know what, I am I have a feeling that this delivery is going to be late and I can't wait another weekend to not use the Simi Cube. So I just went and bought this. I was actually going to buy a second hand one. I uh, actually went and checked it out, but it didn't match the holes. I mean, the holes in that rim didn't match the holes that were for the little mounting thing provided by Simi Cube. So I just went to the auto cast the shop and bought this thing I think this was 60 bucks it was on special I've been lucky with this and the between this and the seat was like 100 160 bucks altogether yeah I thought about that but I'm gonna definitely get another shifter it's e either a sequential or a thrustmaster but that's mainly for your know, your you know, relaxed cruising and stuff because most of the um, all the racing is done in a G twenty five. On the Logitech, the move sensors are plastic, cheaply made. After a long use, they lose the center and dance. Yes, by Trust Trustmaster. Hmm. Yo, hey Kirk! <laughs> How you doing, dude? Yeah. I, I, but you know, that, that bloody Logitech is uh, since another 2008 purchase, so it's old. Yeah. The magnetic paddle shifters from. Ah, uh, it's th this is prof this is like professional, pr you know, professional gear. It's, it. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's the th the the way that this thing works. 
uh, sim core. I'll show you the one that I'm actually I've ordered. Scene desktop. Okay, so this this is this is it here. Oh, it's it's amazing. The the thing is just it feels real. It feels like a real car. So pretty much th this is it. It's got the oh, actually I've, I think I have another extra button two buttons on the bottom. Two buttons at the top. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I got these from the hardware store for 20 50, 20 bucks, I think. They're not they they're a bit grippy and they fit perfectly. Sincere. I'm going to see what happens if I do that and drive uh, what am I going to drive? This guy. Yeah. This would, this would f sort of fit this wheel. Yeah, so this is like pro gear, man. It's... Um, going back to what I was saying about the clipping is that... There's no more... Like, you look at the clipping, uh, the force feedback clip, clip uh, bar. It just doesn't come close to... And because of that, it's so clear like the, the feeling is so clear I think it's after pedals this is definitely a worthy investment and the things should last you know it's it's built to last a long time if you spend a lot of time doing this stuff man I think it's worth this is this is my hobby like if it's not if I'm not uh, spending time with the kids and uh, you know, with my family, I'm down here doing this. So, why not splurge and have a make it a good experience? Right? <laughs> Gloves like this will be grippy. CP to a cartwheel. Oh, I'm, I'm very, I don't, so I'm very careful about holding tight, holding this wheel really, really tight. It's just, uh, asking for trouble. I'm actually, it's, it's very hard to relax at the moment. No sweat on suede wheel. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's Alcantara, right? Rig. Al Alcantara? Hang on, let's get this in the middle. Alright. Music volume medium. Music volume low. Game volume medium. Uh oh. I forgot to do the. How do you actually. Ch yeah, no. I forget. How do you set it to automatic transmission? You always wanted a vertex wheel. Content manager main screen. Ah, uh, dope. I thought I thought there's a key that you press to make it uh, go to wait it's down here no 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 mm. ah no oh, I see it no No wait, well, there is some somewhere here there's a space there's a spot where you can play with uh in single player drive. 
I th I'm pretty sure I did it here though. See, I do have it set for in single player, but it's a different setting for the server. Um, hmm. It's definitely somewhere here on this page. Ah, here we go. Assists. Ah, oh, it's already set to. Yeah, it's already set to. Auto shifter, yes, yes, yes. Yep, that's all good there. Okay. Mm. Let me just check and see my keyboard. Keyboard mapping. Buttons. Force feedback. Buttons. Which button? Next gear. I might actually do this. Whoa. <laughs> Throttle. Yes, we'll move all. Ah, shampoo your Alcantara. Yeah, I know. I'm. I know. I'll definitely sh sweat. So I need to protect it. All right, here we go again. It must have been just that car. Maybe it doesn't let allow the um, the shifting. But yeah, definitely after the pedals, this is this is the way to do it. If you, especially if you do racing and and drifting. Although, you know what, I can't, I, I don't know what it's like to, to drive one of, uh, a belt drive wheel. So I've got nothing to compare. The only thing I can compare it with any, in a, any meaningful way is the, my old G25. Like I've, I've driven in a, with a AccuForce, but that was like, what, a, a five minute session on two separate occasions. And I think I, uh, tried out Dan. Daniel Yeaman's G20 G27 I think it was and I don't know so it's hard for me to say what this is compared to a say a $600 um, wheelbase but I'm, I, I was comparing the sensation of this wheel to the actual you know SUV and the, the other car that we have and yeah it just feels natural it just feels natural like a, a car with power steering all right oh no this car doesn't have automatic transmission maybe no way i'm not gonna drive like this Yeah, this car doesn't have automatic transmission, I suppose. We'll have to pick a different car. Supra. Just double check assists. Yeah, it's definitely got automatic shifting switched on. Higher up the wheel, the more fidelity you get. Hmm. And, and the other thing about this wheel that is... Like it shows the, qual the the power of the motor, is how quickly it shifts from uh, left and right rotation. Like the frequency that it shifts from left to right is so fast. It's it's so fast. It's so violent. Like if the if the wheel was like the other day, I was in R Factor Two, face, face, face. Huh? 
yeah, the other day I was in R Factor 2 trying to set that thing up and failing at that time. And I remember this thing was like, zzz, like vibrating, but traveling like one about about 10 millimeters either either side like the frequency was so so fast that the motor was vibrating it was like humming it sounded it was just insane uh, it's taken a while all right here we go I kept, like, as I was um, testing this thing off air, off, off air last couple of days, I was imagining, I'm trying to not visualize and manifest bad things happening to me, so, but I was like imagining, God, imagine one, if I was, if I happen to be streaming and the thing freaking goes crazy and something bad happens and it happens on stream. I was like, I wonder if that's ever happened to anyone. But, but to counter that, it's just it's just a matter of being careful like not gripping the bloody wheel definitely not locking my thumb in there until i get used to it game volume medium lights on ah oh, it yeah well imagine it got so bad that i couldn't even yeah, exactly. Like it happened happening on stream and And then I imagine like you guys were freaking out like, "Oh my god, call the ambulance or some shit like that." Start. 